this is trigonometry part 4 good morning everybody question number 4a continue 4 ab 9 abc 16 17 18 question number 4a if a plus b plus c equal 5 radian express cot a by 2 plus b by 2 in terms of c by 2 see this question is see a plus b plus c equal 5 radian we have to express a by 2 plus b by 2 therefore a by 2 plus b by 2 equal 5 by 2 minus b by 2 taking cot a by 2 plus b by 2 see according to the question cot a by 2 plus b by 2 taking cot cot 5 by 2 minus b by 2 e can b by 2 this is the answer expression Now, another question is also there. Can A equal Z? B number, if can A equal Z, express can twice A in terms of Z? This is also given. Now, solution is this. We know can a equal z given therefore can twice a equal twice can a upon 1 minus can square a to value of z can a z upon 1 minus z square because can a equal z so tan twice a equal 2z upon 1 minus z square question number 9a question number 9a I just draw it question number 9a is this if if a plus B plus C equal pi radian and sine A equal sine B sine C. Two conditions. A plus B plus C equal pi and sine A equal sine B into sine C. And you have to prove that prove that can B plus can C equal can B into can C. So how to prove it? It's given condition. See, solution. First of all, write down the given condition. See, the given condition is A plus B plus C equal pi radian. Since can B plus can C equal can B into sin A equal sin B into sin C. So, and can B plus can C. That means B plus C equal pi minus A. Since there is sine, you can write down sine B plus C equal sine pi minus A equal sine A. So, left side, we have to prove that can B plus can C equal can B into can C. So, left hand side can B plus can C, can B, sin B upon 
cos b plus tan c sin c upon cos b tan equals sin by cos b now take common you have to take common cos b cos b with lcm now sin b cos c plus cos b into sin c lcm sin a cos b plus cos a sin b formula sin b plus c upon cos b cos c already proved sin b plus c equal sin a given cos b into cos c but sin a equal sin b into sin c sin b into sin c upon cos b into cos c sin by cos tan b sin c by cos b tan c rss proof all right given condition a plus b plus c equal pi and sin a equal sin b into sin c proof that tan b plus tan c equal tan b into tan c given condition a plus b plus c equal pi See there is b and c, b plus c equal pi minus a. Take, take sine, sine b plus c equal sine pi minus a equal sine a, sine one eighty degree minus a, sine a. Left hand side, tan b plus tan c, tan b sine b by cos b plus tan c sine c by cos c. Take lcm, cos b cos c, sine b cos c. Plus cos b sine c. Formula sine b plus c compound angle. Formula sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Denominator same. Sine b plus c is sine a. Proof. But sine a equal sine b into sine c. Given. Now sine b upon cos b tan b. Sine c upon cos c tan c. I have just proved. In this way you can prove it. Nine A. Question number nine B. Prove that sine fifty one degree plus cos eighty one degree equal cos. Twenty-one degree. Either compound complementary angle. Can you prove it by complementary angle? No. You have to change into transformation angle. Transformation formula. Left hand side. Sine fifty-one degree plus cos eighty-one degree. See, there is cos in on the right side. It is better to change into. Either both sine or both cos. See sine ninety degree minus ninety. What is what are we? Nine to eight forty nine. Ninety minus forty nine. Ninety minus forty nine is fifty one. Is plus cos eighty one degree. Sine ninety minus a is Cos A plus Cos B. Cos A plus Cos B is two Cos A plus B by two into Cos A minus B by two. Formula from plus plus minus what into the another Cos A plus Cos B equal. Two cos a plus b by two into cos a minus b by two. For the sake of convenience, I am writing the formula: cos a plus cos b equal two cos a plus b by two into cos a minus b by two. To understand, cos a plus cos b two cos a plus b by two into cos a minus b by two. Two cos forty nine plus eighty one. 
There should be both cos cos or both sin cos. I have changed sin 51 into cos 39. But you can change cos 81 into sin 9 degree. That is also correct. Cos A plus cos B. 2 cos A plus B by 2 into cos A minus B by 2. Simplify it. Add and subtract. 2 cos 60 cos 21. 2 cos 60 half. 2 cancel cos 21 degree. Proof. But you can change cos into sine also. That is also correct. And finally what comes? Sine it comes sine 69. What is this? Sine 69 also. Sine 69 like 90 minus 21 garni and cos 21 degree. Yeah. If there is sin 69, you can change sin 69 into sin 90 minus 21, sin 90 minus 8, cos 8. Yes, sir, you have to Now, 9C. Solve. Twice cos square A. Minus 1 equals 0 for 0 degree A up to pi radian. Pi radian or 180 degree. Solution. Twice cos square A minus 1 equals 0. This is the given condition. Or twice cos square A equal 1. Or cos square a equal 1 by 2 or cos a equal plus minus 1 by root 2. Taking the square root. Now, since it is a short question for 2 marks, I will just, uh, I will write taking plus, taking minus, plus half, taking positive, minus half, taking negative. But you can write, Taking positive, taking negative. We can separate. Taking positive, we get cos a equal 1 by root 2. Two. Class formula A, S, T, C. All add sugar to cos B. All positive. Cos is positive in the first and fourth quadrant. Or cos A. 1 by root 2 is cos 45 degree comma cos 360 minus 45 degree because cos is positive on the first quadrant positive last quadrant or fourth quadrant positive therefore the value of a equal 45 degree or 360 minus 45 315 degree value of a now taking negative Taking the negative sign. Cos A equal minus 1 by root 2. Cos is negative in the second and third quadrant. Or cos A equal minus 1 by root 2 is cos 180 degree minus 45 degree. In the second quadrant, cos is negative. Third quadrant, cos 180 plus 45 degree. Cos is negative in the second quadrant. Means 180 minus theta 
second quadrant. 180 plus theta, third quadrant. Therefore, A is equal 180 minus 45, 135 degree. 180 plus 45 is 225 degree. Combining, combining all. What is the value of A? 45. 45, 135 degree, 225 degree, and 315 degree. From equation 1, 45 and 315, first quadrant and fourth. From second, equation second, A equals 135 and 225. Combining and arranging, A equals 45 degree, then 135 degree, then 225 degree and 315 degree answer. There are five answers for question number two. Nine C. Question number nine C. Two marks. This is an easy test. Now, question number. Question number 16, sec 40 degree plus root 3 cosec 40 degree equal 4. In trigonometry, you have to practice more and see examples also because there are so many questions in trigonometry. It is a, a little bit vast course. Left hand side without using a calculator. Left hand side, sec 40 degree plus root 3 cosec 40 degree. If there is uh, pi, you have to change pi into 180 degree. You cannot solve this without changing into cos. So, change into sec into 1 by cos. Root 3 is root 3 of cosec 40 degree is sine. 1 by sine 40 degree change into sine cos. Then what you do? Cos 40 degree into sine 40 degree LCM. Now take LCM sine 40 degree plus root 3 cos 40 degree. Then what to do? Sine Now, take 2, multiply and divide by 2, half sin 40 degree plus root 3 by 2 cos 40 degree by sin 40 into cos 40 degree. What you do? Take, multiply by 2. And divide by 2. 2 mathi let me and like cancel the no? color again. 2 into bracket half 2 to cancel half sin 40 degree plus root 3 by 2 cos 40 degree. Half is sin 30 degree. Root 3 by 2 is cos 30 degree. What what can you write? 2 sin 30 sin 40 plus cos 30 into cos 40 degree. There, sin 40 into cos 40. See, you have to change into the correct formula. See, is it in the formula? Sin A, sin B plus cos A, cos B. First, arrange to make a proper formula. See, 2, you have to arrange in this way. Cos 40 into cos 30 degree plus sin 40 degree into sin 30 degree. So that there is a formula. You write denominator same. Denominator here means sin 40 cos 40 degree. Sin again say 2 cos a cos b plus sin a sin b is cos a minus b upon 
डिनोमिनेटर साइन फोर्टी इंटू कॉस फोर्टी डिग्री टू कॉस टेन डिग्री अपन साइन फोर्टी डिग्री इंटू कॉस फोर्टी डिग्री फर्स्ट चेक चेंज सेक फोर्टी इंटू वन बाय कॉस फोर्टी रूट थ्री कॉसेक फोर्टी डिग्री वन बाय साइन फोर्टी डिग्री सेक एलसीएम कॉस फोर्टी साइन फोर्टी देन साइन फोर्टी प्लस रूट थ्री कॉस फोर्टी डिग्री डिवाइड एंड मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू टू हाफ साइन फोर्टी प्लस रूट थ्री बाय टू कॉस फोर्टी हाफ इज साइन थर्टी रूट थ्री बाय टू इज कॉस थर्टी एरेंज कॉस फोर्टी कॉस थर्टी प्लस साइन फोर्टी साइन थर्टी एरेंजिंग टू गेट अ प्रॉपर फॉर्मूला कॉस ए कॉस बी प्लस साइन ए साइन बी इज कॉस ए प्लस बी रिमेम्बर कॉस ए कॉस बी प्लस साइन ए साइन बी इज कॉस ए माइनस बी रिमेम्बर द फॉर्मूला कॉस टू कॉस टेन डिग्री अपन साइन फोर्टी इंटू साइन टू गेट फोर राइट साइड इज फोर सो मल्टीप्लाई बाई फोर टू कॉस टेन डिग्री अपन टू साइन फोर्टी इंटू कॉस फोर्टी डिग्री मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू टू ले तल पे मत मल्टीप्लाई टू 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 इंटू टू फोर कॉस टेन डिग्री अपन टू साइन ए कॉस ए साइन ट्वाइस ए डबल आइन में डबल बिकॉज टू साइन ए कॉस ए इक्वल साइन ट्वाइस ए दिस इज द फॉर्मूला द फॉर्मूला इज टू साइन ए कॉस ए साइन Twice. Now, what you we can do? Four cos ten over sine two into forty degree. Now change in the same ratio. To get four, this is four. Right side is also four. So continue. Four cos ten or here you get right ninety minus eighty degree. Why? To get the same ratio, taller mati both sine will be sixty, or the both cos will be sixty. Upon sine two into forty is eighty degree. Four cos ninety degree minus a is sine a. Denominator also sine eighty degree cancel four right hand side. So what you do? Sin sec into one by cos, cosec into one by sin. Take LCM, multiply and divide by two. Half is sin thirty, root three by two is cos thirty. Now arrange cosec cos b plus sin a sin b, cos a minus b, two cos a by denominator. Multiply by two. Multiply the numerator and denominator by two. You will get four cos ten upon sine two into forty. Sine two is two sine cos a. Four cos ten is cos ninety minus eighty. Cos ninety minus a sine a. Or you can change sine into cos or cos into sine. Both cos will be possible or both sine will be possible to get RHS. Here complementary angle, double angle, and compound angle. Double angle, sine two a, two sine a cos a. Complementary angle, cos ninety degree minus a sine a. And compound angle, cos a minus b, cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. Question number seventeen. <coughs> Solve. Cot square theta plus root three plus one by root three cot theta plus one equal zero. Range zero degree to three hundred sixty degree. Two pi is three hundred sixty degree. This is the question. 
to write or take lcm first of all you have to take lcm cot square theta plus lcm root 3 into root 3 3 plus 1 upon root 3 into cot theta plus 1 equal 0 again take lcm square lcm meaning take the whole lcm root 3 lcm root 3 into cot square theta root 3 cot square theta 3 plus 1 4 cot theta plus root 3 into 1 root 3 equal 0 but you can change 3 plus 1 not necessary because root 3 into root 3 3 3 ones are 3 so it is better to write down 3 plus 1 or root 3 cot square theta plus root 3 plus 1 cot theta plus root 3 equal 0 now root 3 cot square theta you cross multiply bracket of root 3 cot theta plus cot theta plus root 3 equal 0 or you have to take common root 3 and 3 root 3 common cot square theta and cot theta cot theta common what is left root 3 common cot square theta cot theta means cot theta plus 3 root 3 common root 3 cot theta plus root 3 nothing is common so 1 is common cot theta plus root 3 equal 0 or LCM uh, common cot theta plus root 3 into root 3 cot theta plus 1 equal 0 first you have to take LCM again take LCM cross multiply without characterization root 3 into root 3 3 3, 3 into 1 3 3 plus 1 4 jod the 4 hours multiply the 3 hours root 3 into root 3 3 3 plus 1 4 3 into 1 3 now what you do either or take two make two equation therefore either either cot theta plus root 3 equal 0 equation number 1 or root 3 cot theta plus 1 equal 0 equation number 2 make 2 equation now create equation 1 and equation 2 from equation 1 oh, I am going to drop all except these two equations cot theta plus root 3 root 3 cot theta plus 1 from equation 1 without wasting time I will change this cot theta equal transfer plus root 3 to minus root 3 RHS cot theta equal minus root 3 remember cot is negative in the second and fourth a first quadrant all positive no not first quadrant second quadrant cot negative third quadrant cot positive fourth quadrant cos and set positive means cot is negative in the second and fourth remember or cot theta yeah, don't be confused cot 180 degree minus 30 degree so cot 30 equal root 3 tan 60 equal cot 30 cot 180 degree minus a minus cot a and cot 30 equal root 3 cot 180 degree minus a one equal minus cot a so cot 30 equal value root 3 by one only so that is one equal from a cot fourth quadrant 360 degree minus 30 degree cot 360 degree minus a minus cot a and cot 30 equal root 3 therefore theta equal 180 minus 30 150 degree 360 minus 30 330 cot second quadrant by negative fourth quadrant by negative minus minus root 3 yeah plus 3 yeah third or fourth 
two. Cot one eighty degree minus a minus cot two. Cot three sixty minus a minus cot a. Home equation two root three cot theta plus one. Root three cot theta equal minus one or cot theta equal minus one by root three. Ten thirty equal root three one by root three. But cot sixty equal one by root three. Follow the same rule. Cot theta equal cot one eighty degree minus sixty degree. Remember cot sixty equal one by root three. Cot sixty equal ten thirty. Uh, I just to make to avoid confusion. Ten sixty equal cot thirty equal root three. And ten thirty equal cot sixty degree equal one by root three. Remember the values from the table. Cot one eighty degree minus theta minus cot three sixty degree minus sixty degree because cot sixty degree equal one by root three. Therefore, theta equal one eighty minus sixty hundred twenty degree. Three sixty minus Sixty twenty degree. Now combining and arranging. Combining theta equal what? See, remember one fifty three thirty hundred twenty and three hundred. Right, one twenty degree. Like directly see one twenty, then hundred fifty degree, then three hundred degree, then three hundred thirty degree. Answer. See, first of all, you have to take LCM, cross multiply, make two equations. From equation one, cot theta equal minus root three, cot thirty equal root three. Remember, cot one eighty minus thirty, cot three sixty minus thirty. From where you get theta equal one fifty and three thirty. From equation two, root three cot theta equal minus one, cot theta equal minus one by root three. Follow the same instruction. Cot 180 minus theta minus cot theta. Cot 180 degree minus 60 minus 1 by root 3. Cot 360 minus 60 minus 1 by root 3. Therefore, theta equal 120 330. Combining energy, theta equal 120, 150, 300 and 330 degree answer. There are four answer. Question number eighteen. A ladder say fifteen meter long reaches a point fifteen meter below the top of a. Vertical flag star from the foot of the ladder from the foot of the ladder the Angle of elevation of the top of the flag staff is sixty degree and the height of the flag. Uh, see the question a little bit long. See <coughs> what is the given condition? A ladder is fifteen meter long, just like inclined plane. It reaches a point fifteen meter below the top of a vertical flag star. From the foot of the ladder, from the top of the vertical flag star, what you can do? But there is a 
there is a pole also there is a pole here slightly you have the question is a little bit incomplete there is a pole or there is a tower also as well there is a tower above which there is a ladder vertical flight stuff is there how you can solve it first of all see the question see there is a vertical flag star see what a ladder 15 meter long reaches a point 15 meters below the top of a flag star which is on the uh, on the on a tower there is a tower also there is a flag star from the foot from the foot of the ladder so this is a ladder this is a ladder and the flag star is just on the suppose uh, the star is on the top of a tower fitted on the top of a tower tower go mati pati even a flag star rises over that's one question is uh, someone missing tower then from the foot of the ladder this is the ladder this ladder is 15 meter long ladder it is a 15 meter below the top of a of the flag star which is fitted on the top of a tower then this is 15 meter this is also 15 meter from any point the angle of elevation of the top of the flag star is 60 degree this is 90 degree this is 60 degree so it must be 40 degree and these two sides are equal if this is 40 this is also 40 degree and making a rough sketch and then solve the question see what we write step number one tower on the top of the tower there is a flag star then what a ladder is there a ladder 15 meter long ladder reaches 15 meter below the top of the vertical flag star which is fitted on the top of a tower then from here it makes 60 degree whole 60 degree so your 90 degree so your 30 so your 30 your your equal value this your angle but 30 so base angle of an isosceles triangle then we have to find the height of the flag star and height of the tower this is 15 meter already is there so first of all you have to find the height of the flag star whole 60 degree this one is 40 degree but your 40 degree so you I you thas up and it is legal a yes ma you do this question so I am going to rob and solve it in the examination you don't need to write down the question so the solution is this first of all make a tau there is a flag star the flag star this one is 15 meter this one is a long ladder 15 meter long ladder a b c d and it reaches 15 meter below a long ladder reaches 15 meter below the top of a vertical flag star the angle of elevation of the top is 60 degree make 60 degree this side and this side these two sides are equal and this is 90 degree this is 60 degree so it is 40 degree 90 minus 60 30 degree if, if this angle is 30 degree this angle is also 
40 degree whole angle 60 this angle 30 pura 60 sa mathi ko 30 sa bhane color ko pani 40 degree huncha so how to write down the answer solution let bc be a tau and cd a tristar which reaches which reaches 15 meter below uh, it is not good flag stuff not necessary to write it in ac ac is a is a 15 meter long ladder there is a 15 meter long ladder ac and what does AC do? AC reaches uh, 15 meter long ladder with reaches 15 meter below B, which is the top of the flag stack. Then what can you write? AC equal BC equal 15 meter. If AC and BC are equal, if two sides are equal, if these two sides are equal. So two angles are equal. AC equal DC equal 15 meter. Given that angle BAD equal 60 degree, angle ABD equal 90 degree. Can you write ADB equal? Therefore, angle ADB equal 90 minus 60 equal 30 degree. In a right angle triangle, if this is 90, this is 60, it, it can be 90 minus 60. Right angle man 90 you would have 90 but you angle got I mean or to acute angle. Are. So sum of the two acute angles is 90 degree. This angle is 30. So angle D A C angle D A C equal angle A D C equal 30 degree. Why? Because B C equal A C. Two sides are equal, therefore. The base angles of an isosceles triangle are also equal. Now, what is the value of BAC? What angle? Angle BAD, angle BAD equal 60 degree given. Therefore, angle BAC equal angle BAD minus angle CAD 60 minus 30 equal 30 degree. Your 90 is up, plus 60 is up, your 30, your 30 will be whole, whole parts will give angle BAC is also 30 degree. Now, in triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, you can write sine 30 equal BC by AC. Remember, sin theta equal P by H. Sin theta equal perpendicular by hypotenuse. But here, tan theta is not necessary because you don't need to find out the distance. You distance nikal usha, height nikal usha. Tan baata gata sangi ba. Tan baata height is given. Here, this length is given. Hypotenuse is given. Therefore, take sin term. Sin 30 half BC. What is BC? We don't know. What is AC? 15. Or twice BC equal 15. Therefore, BC equal 15 by 2 or 7.5. BC equal 7.5. Eti matre ayo 7.5. This is a tau. Uh, what is the height of the tower? 7.5 meter. But there is a flag star CD which is 15 meter long. Or ladder 15 meter long reaches 15 meter below the top of a vertical flag star. It means this is also 15 meter. Then what can you do? First of all, tell me, make a tower ladder or ladder reaches 15 meter below. Math about 15 meters tall. This is 15, this is 15. Angle of elevation 60. 
then this is 90, this is 60. So find out angle D. Angle D and angle CDA and DAC are equal because DC equal 15, AC equal 15. Two sides are equal. Their opposite angles are also equal. Angle CAD 40 degree, angle DAD 60 degree. Therefore, whole parts of them angle DAC equal 40 degree. This is 30 degree, AC is given 15 meter. So find BC using sin theta equal T by A. Sin 30 half. Find BC 7.5. Nepali person, you would have tower like you saw, layer of AC saw 15 meter, so layer of massy batter, vertical pole batter, 15 meter tall. I could saw, and then you 15, you 15, you angle, you angle equal, you 60, you 90, you 30, you saw, massy go 30, 60 minus 30, you angle 30 degree. Angle of elevation of the top of the tower is also 30 degree, and angle of Elevation of the top of the flag stand is 60 degree. In triangle ABC, find the value of BC and add BC and CD to get the height of the flag star. So, what is the height of the flag star? Therefore, height of the flag star equal that is flag step. What is flag step? BD. Whole flag step. Height of the whole. Actually, length of the flag step CD. Is for long the height one is ground button. Because this is the ground. So you have to take find the height of flag step. That is BD. BD can be written as BC plus CD. BC already written 7.5 meter plus CD 15 meter given. 22.5 meter enter. In this way, you can find the height of the tower. But remember, you have to take sign because if this angle is given, this side is given, you have to take sine theta equal T by A. But this side is not given and not asked. You zero go in China, so zero go in China. Yo. AC go value 15 meter so. so 15 meter angle 40 degree diye go so. so to find P take sign sign layer BC nikale BC ba CD jode ra total height nikale finally you have to write 22.5 meter M M is enough or uh, or if some students can write 22.5 meter M E T R E S meters or just M is enough. This was for today.